In this video, I'll show you how to spy on any website and kind of figure out what uh, plugins they're using and what uh, kind of WordPress theme or what tool it's being used to, to build that. So I'm going to pull up a couple different options here and kind of dive into this. So um, we get asked this a lot just when people are looking for templates. You can just right click into a site and you click view page source if you're in Chrome. And what you're going to get is a bunch of code. So the first thing I'll typically search for, I'll hit Command F on, on my Mac, or you can hit Control F if you're on your uh, PC, and just start to search for things like um, like WP Dash if it's a WordPress site. So this is I can already tell you it's not a WordPress site. Um, and so if we kind of skim through now, this one, one in particular is um, does look like it's its own hosted um, site. You've got a lot of CDN things here and all that. So I'm just kind of skimming through. It's either the top of the page or the bottom of the page where they're linking to all that. So this actually looks like a custom app um, altogether. And I'm going to confirm that using a tool called Built With. So you go to builtwith.com. And we'll put this site in here. So I'll just copy the URL and paste it in here and say look up. And in a matter of seconds, it will go and search everything that's going on with this site. So you can see they're using Facebook Pixel. They're using intercom as their um, chat. So if I go back here, they've got a little chat happening down here. Um, so that's the tool they're using. Um, now this is using a Ruby on Rails framework. So this is all custom. Um, they're hosting it on you know Heroku here as well. Um, you can see what payment system they're using is Stripe. They're using Vimeo for their videos hosting. Um, and they've got a bunch of different um, things that they're using. So very custom. Um, app essentially for this one and I want to show you an example of a WordPress site uh, as well and you can see they're even using GoDaddy so you can really dive into all the tools that they're using um, for this uh, all the way down to like how they're structuring their CSS and, and all kinds of stuff and they're you know where they're hosting their files so I'll do another site here just to um, show you another example of a WordPress site so we'll, we'll use our website uh, as an example and you'll see that we're, our site's using Google Analytics, it's using Facebook Pixel. We have um, a couple little widgets in here. We're using Adobe Connect, obviously, for our um, typography. Uh, and there's a bunch of word like plugins here that we're using Jetpack, Contact. And if we keep scrolling down, um, you'll see that this is using Divi, the Divi theme. And what's really cool is you can actually go and look at this. You can click into each of these um, items here and actually see a whole page on like how um, what's training like there's 700,000 sites here that are using this template um, you can see in the US or historical and it's really interesting um, how it's pulling all this t this uh, information out um, so that's the quickest way if it was a WordPress theme or if it was Squarespace or if it was Wix you would see all that um, in here and so uh, and you can even see that we're using charge before our payment uh, bug herd we have all these different scripting things uh, added to our site so that's a great tool between the view source I typically will look at that or I'll use this built with site um, to kind of check out any site and then figure out what tools and plugins they're using but this is a very helpful tool and hopefully it will help you guys out um, as you are trying to find new themes or figuring out what your competitors are doing um, and uh, you can kind of spy on their websites so hope this helps